Nebraska On-Farm Research Network presents Designing Your Experiment Using Randomized Complete Block Design. Let's say you're wondering how two fungicide products compare against each other when applied to corn at V5 growth stage. You've seen two products advertised, one of which has been recommended by your crop consultant or your co-op. You decide to test both products versus an untreated check strip in a field of corn at the V5 stage. Your treatment comparisons would be untreated check, fungicide product A, fungicide product B. To study three or more treatments, as in this example, you could use a randomized complete block design. This is a field layout for comparing two or more treatments in replicated blocks. For this design, four blocks are the minimum number of reps needed, and five is better if you have enough land area to do that. Each block contains all treatments with randomized assignment of treatments to strips within each block, easily done with the flip of a coin. Strips within blocks should represent similar soil and other conditions, but conditions from one block to another can vary. Therefore, in variable fields, blocks may not be adjacent as is shown here. The width for each comparison strip depends on your equipment widths. The length of each treatment does not need to go across the whole field. A strip can be half of the field or less. Remember that for some studies, such as nutrient or product studies, you may need buffer strips. Your equipment can apply into the buffer strips, but only the middle portion of each strip will be harvested for comparison purposes. For this design, you would mix fungicide product A in your tank and spray those treatment strips according to label directions. After cleaning out the sprayer, mix fungicide product B in the tank and spray those treatment strips according to label directions. To reduce human error, apply the treatments at the same plant growth stage and on the same day. Depending on your study, you may need to collect additional data during the growing season. These might include observations of plant appearance due to different treatments, disease and insect pressure, stand counts, percent stock rot in corn, and percent lodging in soybeans. To harvest this study, combine the center rows of each treatment, leaving the buffer rows on either side. In this example, the yield from the center eight rows of the untreated check would be compared to the yield from the center eight rows of the fungicide product A and the yield from the center eight rows of fungicide product B to give you yield comparisons for Rep 1. You would continue in this same manner harvesting the center rows of each treatment for each rep throughout the field. Once the yields from each treatment in each rep have been harvested, you can go back and harvest the buffer strips. When possible, plan the width of the buffer strips to help facilitate harvest. If buffer strips weren't used in a study, you would harvest each treatment comparison strip for each rep. Be sure not to take yields for two treatments in one pass with the combine. Once you have your data collected, it's important to know what difference the treatment truly made in comparison to the untreated check. Statistical analysis can help with that. Be sure to see our video on statistical analysis as well. For more information on how you can work with UNL Extension educators and specialists to conduct on-farm research in your field, please go to cropwatch.unl.edu slash web slash farm research.